morning everyone, it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas and welcome to an unboxing video. I've been asked to do this a number of times and um, I finally get the opportunity to do it. I only place one of these Thailand orders about every year, once a year or so, because it makes me a nervous wreck and every time I say I'm never going to do it again. Um, there's supposed to be 10 plants in here. It came from Ahoyas. I'm extremely nervous. Um, they were shipped last Saturday. This is um, Friday, so they made it in six days. So many of these are thin leaf, very rare, expensive. This is the most expensive box I've ever had uh, ordered from, from Thailand. So I'm extremely nervous. I hate to film this. I'm probably gonna have to do it in several takes because um, I don't have anybody to film it so I'm having to hold the camera and I think I'm going to need both hands um, but you can see the way the box comes this, the shipping alone for this box uh, there's only 10 plants inside was $92 so it's a it's a very expensive proposition and it's like playing the lottery you just never know what you're gonna get inside so um, we're going to open it up which I've already slit the tape. And here is the phytosanitary certificate. Um, you can see which they put inside. And we'll just move that over here. And we'll see what we've got. Thin leaf species in here. Very, very nervous as to what exactly what we're going to get. Some Thai newspaper packing. So anyway, I'm going to have to come back in a take because I'm going to need both hands for this and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. First plant to come out of the box was a white flowered Hoya Imperialis. And this plant is a monster. He said it was large and um, he wasn't kidding. Um, it's probably somehow he managed to get four feet or so of this um, in that box. It's just absolutely huge. So I have to say that that plant was more than satisfying. Uh, and that plant cost about 29 bucks so that that works out that works out all right <laughs> so and then I just unwrapped another package of plants from the inside and this here is Hoya cutis porcelana and it looks perfectly healthy it's not um, it's very unusual it looks like it was shipped in a piece of um, coir, coconut coir or something. I can't really tell exactly what it is till I get it unwrapped, but it seems to almost be like a, it's rooted inside of a little chunk or a, a log. We'll have to see, but um, that plant is in nice shape. Um, let's see, the next plant here is Hoya Kloppenbergi, which is odd since I didn't order that plant and I've had it in the past and flowered it but don't know why that's here because I didn't that wasn't on the order slip this plant here Hoya main guy I don't know much about it it was very expensive is all I can say coming in at about $63, but um, fairly thick leaves, and I have to say, um, even looks like it might have a little new growth in the corner there. Um, I'm hopeful on that plant. Other, here's a thin leaf one, Kippendiensis. Um, that plant there is very dried out. I'm gonna soak it. I have water in here with uh, Super Thrive that I'm gonna soak these plants for a good hour before I pot them up and then I'll bring these back and show you. And Hoya Rei, um, 
it's uh, it's not the best but hard to say um, hopefully I can save it after soaking it and giving it all of my best treatments and then I'm gonna need two hands to um, unwrap these put them in water and then I'm gonna come back and see I have one two three four five six so there should be four more plants in that box and I'll be back and show you those in just a minute okay I'm back uh, one more time here and this is the final bundle of plants uh, the one I'm the most excited about is this one here and it appears to have made it in pretty good shape this is Hoya Medina folia and I actually have leaves on it to survive the trip which is a miracle and there seems to be a touch of new growth in the corner so that is the best thing that's the thing I wanted the most of all of this whole trip so fingers crossed I can make this one survive um, set that over there for now um, and then I've got Hoya Darwinii pink here it's a giant plant very long and then I also have Hoya Darwinii um, cream which is this giant plant um, I have killed this plant probably four times in my life for some reason it does not like me so we're going to give it another try both of these Darwinii and hope for the hope for the best I have a lot of material to work with I can't say that I'm um, that disappointed with the condition of them the only thing I can't figure out with these plants uh, is this this odd coconut um, wrapping coconut husk it seems like these things have been rooted in uh, I can't even say I, it, it's some kind of log I don't know if after I soak it it will begin to come apart otherwise they're gonna have to get potted up with that on their roots which is probably fine I'm just this is a new thing that he must be doing now um, but anyway the plants made it through in pretty good shape and the last plant two other plants here Hoya Australis Lisa nice little plant small plant um, thought I'd give this a try people are very excited about this so um, we'll see how it does for me and then the other one the two the the Medina folia and this is the other plant I wanted I've been wanting this plant forever I had it a long time ago briefly and I killed it so this is Hoya telesmoides and it has the most amazing flower and it arrived in I have to say pretty darn good shape so we're gonna soak this I'll get these things all potted up and then we'll take a final look at these plants and overall I'd have to say that this um, this order came through in six days and for the most part I'm pretty happy I have had much much um, worse shipments that have come in so I'd say right now I'm happy and I'll be back after I have these potted up and we'll we'll take a, a, a look and then we'll be done okay I'm back for a final um, segment I've got all of these plants that I got from Thailand all potted up. Um, they don't look too bad at all considering their journey. And we'll see what happens to them. I had to make my best determination with each one being unfamiliar with most of them that I'd never grown as to which medium that I would use. Um, so I'm all over the place here. Um, I know with Hoyad Telesmoides. I failed with that one time in soil years ago so I figured I would try it in um, a mixture of sphagnum and large orchid bark and see how I make out there. Um, worst case scenario is it starts not doing that well and I can take a cutting. Um, I did the same thing with uh, Medina folia just because I'm unfamiliar with it and I think it would be safer in that and even if it doesn't grow that well it's probably unlikely to die in that um, <clears throat> Australis I used uh, my regular potting mix uh, Lisa because I've made out great with other Australis is using that um, this 
Hoya here, uh, main guy. I use my regular potting mix. I guess I give it a, a chance my regular potting mix because I'm the most familiar with that. And if I failed in it, then I have to try something else. But it's my go-to, so we'll see how that works out. Um, the Darwin eye. You can see I've got them all trellised up here. I'm using. Um, I'm going to try a bonsai mix that. Um, doesn't hold the water at all and we're gonna see how I make out with that because I failed with that and Soil no matter how careful I am I end up with root rot So I'm going to try that and see how see how we do so that's it and I thank you for taking the time I'm all worn out. This took uh, many hours to get these things all potted up and unpackaged but overall I'm thrilled uh, if any of you have thought about ordering from Thailand it's it's completely like playing the lottery sometimes you win and sometimes you lose it looks like this time I, I won and I have to say that if you're gonna order from Thailand Ahoyas does a really good job and um, I've been pretty happy over the years with what I've gotten from them